All right, so now that we have the application ready and configured, we can create a backend. So we're going to add an entity, a repository, and a service class that the UI can use to retrieve data, to write data, to update data, whatever it needs to do with the database. Okay, so we need two packages here. Let's create one for the backend. And we will need another one um, for later for the UI. Just so you get the idea of what the structure, what the structure of the project is. And let's start by creating a new Java class called book. And book is going to be um, an entity or a Java object that encapsulates, uh, you guessed it, information about books, private long id, private string title, private, uh, let's add maybe a local date for published, when the book was published, private, uh, let's create an integer for the rating of this book, how good the book is. I think that should be it, and since we are using um, Lumbug, I can just add data here. Maybe actually we need an all or no args constructor and um, let's be explicit here, all args constructor and also the equals and hash code. I really want it to be only on um, on the ID. So I'm going to include the ID. And we now have a POYO, right? Plain old Java object that we can map to a table in the database. So let's use JPA for that entity. And because it's an entity, it needs an ID. And we are going to generate this value using the strategy um, identity. So it's going to have one, two, three, four, five, and so forth for the um, IDs. We don't need to specify the IDs now. Um, I guess that's it. Now we have Everything. So just to, to, to show you what, what we have actually is um, all the setters and getters and we have uh, con two constructors and equals and um, hash code using the ID field here. Okay, very good. We have that class ready. Now let's create a new book repository. This is very easy to do. Repository. This is actually optional, but I like to be explicit there. And it's not a class, it's an interface. We're going to extend JPA repository from uh, Spring Data. And it's a repository of books which have IDs of type long. And just with that, we have now a bunch of very useful methods to interact with the database, like count, delete, find all, save, and so forth. Uh, we don't need to implement this again. We can just inject instances of this uh, type and a Spring, uh, a Spring uh, Framework is going to create them automatically for us and Spring Data is going to implement the class or the interface. All right, so we have the, the repository, but it would be good to have also a book service that the UI can use. And here I do need to specify service. And let's, let's extend one of the uh, classes that are provided um, by the crude UI add-on, which is Curt listener, and it's a curt listener of books. You'll see uh, why later in the video, but this also allows me to quickly implement these methods over here. So first of all, these are books. So I'm gonna just change this to book. And we probably need, it's not extends, it's actually implements. It's, it's an interface. I can show you the interface here. Very simple one. But we need, we probably need the, uh, the book repository, right? Let's call this repository. And let's use Lombok here to have um, required args constructors. We have, I can show you that too. We have this constructor, we don't have to implement it. And Spring is going to inject an instance of this type, so this is not null anymore, and we can use it. Repository dot find all. Repository dot save book, and in fact, update is exactly the same. And here, repository dot delete 
book. And I guess that's about it. We have the service class implemented, and in fact, we have the whole backend implemented now.